Let's just absorb this for a second, guys. A Steven Spielberg film. E dot T dot. Well, right away you can see that that's a clever depiction of how many characters are there. E is the fifth letter, T is the twentieth letter. But these are capital letters. So you have to add 26 to both. And then you have to add... How many zeros, guys, are there? How many singularities are depicted? And then you reduce them in order, going from the left hand to the right hand of the page. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, etc., etc. And then you start to reduce them into a single digit followed by a chain of ones and zeros. Now... The extraterrestrial, in his adventure on Earth. And then they show you this giant ball. Okay. If they're extraterrestrial and your caped child on his bicycle. I wonder how many spokes those wheels have. Ooh, that's uh, like, that's too many to count, but I'm wondering if they're clusters of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's pretty hard to count, but anyways, whatever guys. So, this is interesting, okay, so, I bought this in New York City when I went, okay, and, you know, yeah, we had a, we had a, opened a store for a while. I tried to sell it. No one wanted it, I guess. I guess it's not cool enough for people to want. But uh, there's your E.T. And then you want to hear an interesting story now that we know that this fourth row of the Table of Creation, which I deem the fourth row of Fibonacci, okay? It looks like it's a parts list or a method of construction of a cellular free energy device. Modeled after the story of creation of the Earth from the King James Bible, page 1, Genesis 1, verse 1. So, E.T. in the movie is trying to phone home. He wants to get the fuck out of here, guys. Because he doesn't like backwards land too much. So he takes all the electronic components from the house to orchestrate and construct some kind of communications device to phone home, you know? He's pulling the chute to get the fuck out of here, guys. When in reality, the E.T. has come here to show us that energy, as well as the Earth, are cellular, which can be derivated from a sequence of characters in a one-dimensional line. Now, I know you're saying that there is no way that the guy that directed the movie about the Holocaust would know the secrets of free energy depict them clearly but hidden in plain sight for his own personal gain. And there's no way he'd do that. You know? You know, just... There's no way that E.T. is playing with a one-dimensional line of information. It's Bram. Mm, what's her name? Katie? Data. Chunk.
Who is that? Uh, what's his name? Yeah, the lead guy. He's, uh... Hmm. That's definitely Mouth. And I don't remember her name. But hey, look! They're on top of what looks like a map. With grid lines all over it. Like the Earth. And the ley lines. Where have I seen that before, guys? I don't know. On my floor, next to the cat dish of water and scratching post. So we have a one-dimensional line. Okay. What are they holding on to? Kind of looks curved. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, there's your one of seven. I'm betting the appendages of the people has something to do with the 13. Like... Or how many black holes you see, or... I don't know, like, what is this? This looks like he's like a... Like a one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Maybe I counted that wrong. Thirteen, yeah, thirteen. No. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You gotta be fucking kidding me, guys. I don't know. Wow. So, yes. What I'm saying is exactly that, that Steven Spielberg knows about the story of creation, the secret of creation. He spent all his... In hey, look, Chris Columbus, guys. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, the guy that discovered America. How do you discover something when there's people already living there? Oh, yeah, you kill them all and then write his story, put it in print, create your reality, and teach the generations of tomorrow... The lie that you want to perpetuate. They call themselves the Goonies. The Secret Caves. The Old Lighthouse. The Lost Map. The Lost Map. The Treacherous Traps. The Hidden Treasure. And Sloth. Join the adventure. <sighs> Only thing worth watching in this movie is the goddamn truffle shuffle. Okay? So, yeah, I'm kind of like the guy that's, you know, calling out Steven Spielberg and George Lucas and, like, all those goddamn people. Richard Donner, you know? Chris Columbus. John Williams. Fuck, pick a name, guys. From the hat. E.T. phoning home. It's not the way it goes. The alien didn't come here to call for backup to get the hell out of here. We are the aliens, and we don't want to go home. We're encoded with the information within our DNA on how to understand creation, but we have amnesia, and we're also indoctrinated from a very young age to have Stockholm Syndrome. And all of this is a planned, calculated effort of the agents of evil and their plan to keep us slaves, guys. So, in our planet, the plan of E.T. inside of Earth is to fucking wake up and understand creation and its useful applications. Like free energy. 
We're not going anywhere. Unless the controllers decide to, like, mass genocide everyone, I apologize. But I don't think that's gonna happen, guys. And if it does happen, what does it matter? You're gonna be dead. Recycled. And you t only thing you take with you is your spirit and your soul. Okay? The cumulative experiences of your life in Earth via your six senses. The sixth scent is the spirit and your connection to heaven or connection to source or connection to the creator via your crown chakra, which aligns the seven chakras within your flesh to the two outside your flesh, your higher self, your aura, and then the one in your solar system, galaxy, and universe. To make 7 plus 2 plus 3, which is 12. And like on a clock, 12 is completion. This is Moss Eisley Cantina. Okay? It's like Star Wars, guys. We're all just travelers. We're all just observers. On a mission from God. But we don't even know it.